An Instagram star from Kuwait has generated anger online after recording a video critical of the country's new laws for domestic workers. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more stories about people who don't like labor laws. Makeup artist Sandos Alcatan is a megastar in Kuwait. She has over 2.3 million followers on Instagram, and typically her account is mostly makeup tutorials and other photos. But a new law in Kuwait, which guaranteed migrant workers one day off per week and the right to maintain their passports, inspired her to post something different. <laughs> The since deleted video shows Alcatan criticizing the law, arguing that her servants might flee back to the Philippines if they're allowed to keep their passports. Now, I don't know. My assumption here is that the people were initially coming from the Philippines for safety, so if you're treating them well and with kindness, then why would they want to flee from you? Now she's saying that because she has to give them one day off a week, She's not gonna employ Filipino workers anymore. And if you're not gonna be given at least one day off a week, then good riddance to you as a boss. To give you a little bit of background, Kuwait is a popular destination for people from the Philippines looking for a better life. About one sixth of Kuwait's total population of four million people are migrant workers, including 250,000 Filipinos. But tensions have arisen between the groups in 2018. In March, the mutilated body of a Filipino worker was discovered inside a freezer in an abandoned home. And in April, a video went viral of a migrant worker escaping from an apparently abusive home in Kuwait. Rodrigo Duterte, the controversial president of the Philippines even temporarily banned workers from traveling to Kuwait. Groups like Human Rights Watch have long promoted better labor conditions for migrant workers. And these new laws guaranteeing time off and the ability to leave the country if they want should make conditions a little bit better for them. At the very least, the law will allow workers to flee abusive employers or employers who take advantage of the system <coughs> and return to the Philippines if they choose. Which is what makes al Qatan saying that someone should reimburse her if an employee leaves Kuwait sound so much more like a slaveholder than an employer in 2018. And the backlash against her on social media has been furious and swift. One comment reads, all human beings deserve to be treated fairly and with dignity. Shame on you for thinking you're better than other people just because you have money. I hope no one ever comes to your household for employment. Let's see how you manage cleaning after yourself and then tell us again that maids don't deserve a break. Shame on you. And many online are asking companies like Mac and Shiseido to drop Alcatan as a brand ambassador with the hashtag Boycott Sandos Alcatan. And at least a few brands have already started to respond. Max Factor, Arabia, McAuliffe Perfume, and Chelsea Boutique have all fired Alcatan. And in response to the backlash, she chose to double down on her position. She argues that it should be her right to maintain a migrant worker's passport and that she has never mistreated or degraded an employee. And I go back to my previous statement about the fact that if the workers were happy and had their passports, then they'd have no reason to leave. And her response didn't help. She's now being called an unapologetic bitch and a modern day master of slaves. Her only Instagram since the non-apology is a promotional photo for Al Jazeera perfumes. What do you guys think? Should brands drop Sandos Alcatan? Let us know in the comments and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.